All right, I am back. Hey, you guys, I've been having some subs want me to play some free for all. So I'm going to show you the best um, class setup for free for all, and I'm going to show you a gameplay of free for all. I'm actually here on Octane. I haven't actually did a video for Octane yet, so I'm going to show you a few of my spots. Now, in this commentary, I'm actually going to just let the game play because I want you to want you to hear and see what I see. But first, let's get into the class setup. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Okay, see right here, let's let's get into um, what I'm using. Okay, you know, I like the AK-12. So I'm going with the AK-12. The big difference this time, I'm not going to use the thermal sight. It's not necessary for free-for-all. But let's get into the attachments that I use and why. First, I go with the silencer. Um, main reason, two things for me personally. One, I don't like to be seen on a map when I shoot. That lets people know where you're at. Two, when you have a silencer, it gives you less recoil on your gun. And it definitely helps with your aim. Because you know it's nothing worse than shooting someone and your gun jumps up four feet and you miss them. So it reduces the recoil. With this one, I'm going with extended mags. The reason I picked extended mags, um, free for all tends to be a um, a pretty fast paced game. A lot of times when you kill someone, someone else is shooting at them already or chasing them. So a lot of times I find myself in back to back situations where I can't be affording to reload because you maybe have to chop down three people in one setting. So th therefore I go with the extended mags. And of course I'm gonna go with my lethal. IED is my favorite. Um, people are not um suspecting IEDs. Not everybody's running with um sit rep. So I'll go with the IEDs. And if you notice in the perks, I'm gonna um be able to carry, you know, of course, two of them. With the perks, I like to go with um sleight of hand. This is free for all. You want to be able to reload fast. Like I have the extended mags, but also too, you never know when you get in a situation where you're in a one-on-one -on -one gun battle and reloading can save your life. Um I then go with dead silence. Um the reason being when you play free for all Footsteps and everything become very, very important. Normally, when you're playing with your teammates and they're running by you, you don't really trip off it. You look on your radar, you're like, okay, my teammates are by me. Well, in this game, any footsteps you hear, they're trying to kill you. So I like to go with dead silence. That way they can't hear me. Um, scavenger. Of course, I don't, I don't die a lot, so I don't pick up a lot of guns. So I like to run with my gun, kill you, run you over, resupply, and ready to go. That's just a given for me. Now, here's um, a perk that I... I usually don't use but for free for all will amplified I go with amplified because once again like I said you're listening for the footsteps and those are definitely a dead giveaway and so of course if someone has dead silence you can actually hear them with amplified so can someone use that against you sure but still your steps are kind of um it's like putting a silencer on <laughs> if someone shot next to you with a silencer you still kind of can hear it a little bit but you want every advantage you can of course I go with the two tacticals which not the two tacticals or whatever, so I can get my two lethals. Now, with this, it, I actually use my strike package. I actually use support. I actually go with the um, SATCOM. Even though I can hear everybody, it just gives me another advantage. This this map is about knowing where people are at and being able to react quicker than them. So I go with the SATCOM. Then I go ahead and go with the, um, I don't even know, I call them the ballistic vest. I guess they still call them on this. Um, in this game, it's important to be able to take a bullet. Because it sucks when someone shoots you. They think they're going to kill you. <laughs> they got to shoot you two or three more times. Just gives you an added advantage. And then I go with the Night Owl. That's basically like having a SATCOM around you at all times. So this is my setup. Now let me show you how this actually works in the game. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to do any more commentary. I won't, I normally, when I commentary, do my commentary, I lower the volume of the game. I'm going to play the game at full volume. I want you to hear what I hear with the Amplified on. And you can see the advantage. And watch how I'm turning around. The people are not even there. And they're, they're getting killed because I had the drop on them. All right, you guys. Free for any all. comments, any suggestions, go ahead and um, nah, any comments. I'll leave them in the comments. All right, you guys. I am out. Let's go. Time to work, Ghost Squad. SATCOM ready. Friendly SATCOM active.
Blast ready for deployment. Enemy SATCOM spotted. I'm ready. Enemy SATCOM spotted.
Friendly SATCOM active. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Ready for deployment. Time's almost up. Enemy care package incoming. SATCOM ready. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Time's almost up. Friendly SATCOM active. Night Owl expired. 